Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand how to make a two input CMOS NAND in different styles. We have seen in the previous clip for CMOS inverter and we also saw how an inverter can be implemented in different styles of logic. Here we'll start with a static CMOS style. First thing we saw in inverter when we wanted to implement a static CMOS circuit was that we need to write down the expression and the truth table. In 2 input NOR gate, I'll show you how to make a static CMOS circuit using the truth table. But here I want to teach you a shortcut trick. The shortcut trick is whatever expression is given to us here in this case y equal to ab the whole bar. Hide the bar. Whatever is underneath the bar in this case it's a and b whatever is underneath the bar that is nothing but a pull down circuit or a combination of nmos transistors which will be used to be put as a pull down network so here under the bar is nothing but a and b so my pull down network comprises of a one transistor for one input in series with b the trick here is if this is my pull down network my pull up network will always be a complement of pull down network which means for pull down network if i have connected a and b in series for pull up network my a and b will be connected in parallel and my pull up is nothing but my pmos so this is a parallel to b and you have seen that the output is taken from pull up and pull down network together and this is nothing but my v out if you put the truth table values for a and b you will see that it satisfies the truth table and this is nothing but a two input static cmos nand as i mentioned i'll show you how to make the same circuit using the truth table but i'll show you with nor remember the shortcut trick hide the bar whatever is underneath the bar that's your pull down network complementary to that is your pull up network and that completes my static cmos style let's go ahead let's make a two input nand gate using zero nmos here i have shown you the static cmos nand again for your reference and this is nothing but my zero style general representation we know that the pull down remains the same so let's quickly draw the pull down for a zero to input nand so this is i beg your pardon it's not a pmos it's an nmos so this is my input a same like static cmos input b grounded the pull up will not be like static cmos it will be replaced by a single pmos transistor so let's quickly draw that single pmos with its gate grounded the gate is grounded and the output is taken between the pmos and the pull down circuit so this is my output v out and this is vdd so this is nothing but my two input nand gate in zero nmos style again you can verify the truth table Let's go ahead and quickly do a two input NAND gate using dynamic style. In dynamic style again we saw that the end fits will remain same like static. So let's first draw the end fit logic of static CMOS again that is transistor A in series with transistor B. We also saw that there has to be a footer transistor which is nothing but a PMOS. Let's do that PMOS transistor. I beg your pardon a header transistor which is nothing but a PMOS. and a footer transistor which is nothing but an nmos and both of them needs to be shorted and given a signal called as phi this nmos will be connected in series with the end fit logic and this pmos will be connected with the pull down circuit logic so this is what i'm talking about and this is nothing but my v out this is vdd and this is ground this is nothing but my two input nand gate in dynamic style you can verify the truth table just remember that whenever we are drawing a dynamic style we should always represent a capacitor at the output in the general style also there needs to be a capacitor we need to be represented so that completes the two input nand gate in dynamic style let's quickly go ahead and do a two input nand gate in c square mos or clock cmos logic here we saw that the static circuit will be replicated for p fets and also for n fets with an additional two transistor so let's quickly do that so my pull up will have two p moses for sure in addition to this it will be a pmos which will be connected in series this is nothing but this pmos for a pull down circuit again we'll have the same style what we have it for static so a in series with b this is my end fit logic which is entirely in series with another nmos transistor which is nothing but my phi and this is nothing but my phi bar and this is a and b so this needs to be connected in series to this both my pmos m1 and m2 are connected and in between that the output would be taken so this is connected and this is my output v out and this is nothing but ground 
again you can verify it with the truth table this is nothing but a c square mos logic in summary we drew the static two input cmos nand we replaced the pull up network with a pmos transistor which was grounded which was nothing but my zero n mos we replaced the grounded pmos transistor with a header transistor connected to phi and a footer transistor n mos also connected to phi and in between we substituted the n mos logic circuitry and we got the dynamic circuit and we also saw the c square mos logic circuit hope you have followed a two input nand gate and its representation in different styles stay tuned for further clips thank you very much